What is going on Libra? Welcome or welcome back to the channel Elevated Spirits. It's Jazzy, your favorite Cali reader. This is going to be your 1212 portal slash new moon reading from your galactic family. So um, I got two sets of cards going on here. First set represents um, what this 1212 portal new moon energy is activating for you at this time. And then um, what do your galactic family like you, what would they like you to focus on at this time to help you and assist you through this activation process, okay? Because um, while they're doing their part in the ethers, we still have to do our part here in the 3D. So, um, so yeah, word of today is it's a slow process, but quitting won't speed it up. So don't give up, don't give in. You need to keep going, okay? So whatever it is that maybe you're thinking about or maybe that has been um, difficult or you're, you've been like struggling to get through, um, don't give up, don't quit because it's not going to make it happen any faster in doing so. Okay. Um, so before we get into the reading, I just want to say that, um, I got two new decks for us for the channel. So these readings are kind of like coming out a little bit later than I expected, than I intended, at least than I would have liked, I guess I should say, because, um, literally I got, you know, the inkling to do it after I got the cards, like after they came in, it was like maybe the next like the day or two afterwards that you know my guys told me to do the readings so I'm kind of like okay and then you know but I'm showing up anyway because I'm being obedient so um so even if you're catching this after the 12th for whatever reason just know that time is fluid not linear so when you are truly meant to see the messages is when they will come to you anyway so don't feel like you're behind or that you missed out or anything like that um and also these energies these windows of the portals and the new moon energies do linger um I believe the portal energies it might be about the same but about three days before three days after um the actual day so just know that you're whenever you're seeing this you're right on time okay so before we get started just looking at the bottoms of the decks that i've used here um we have chamber of the violet flame crystal keys and alchemist so i feel like some of you um whether you realize it or not you guys are releasing a fuck ton of karma at this time okay meaning that um things that you have done or you know or things that have been done to you however that's not good or bad it's just cause and effect as in the energy we put out is what we receive so if you're putting out a vibration of lack that is what we've been receiving right so whatever that has been for you that energy is being cleared up at this time um some of you may be familiar with arcane with um saint germain and the violet flame if not you might want to research that um do some meditations for that um but this is also about your crown chakra as well so some of you may be feeling um your crown chakra is tingling you may be getting headaches or things like that um but just know that things are being cleared out in order to make room for the new so this is also an opportunity with the crystal keys here to see things see how your challenges the things that you guys have gone through um especially the challenges that you're currently facing just know that it's it's those experiences are carrying a lot of potent information okay it's just a matter of how you choose to see it um but you benefit by seeing your challenges from a higher vantage point and see how it's really helping you versus hurting you okay there's a lot that i feel like you guys are learning at this time but um, a lot of your there's a heavy transformation that's also taking place okay I feel like for some of you it's really putting you back in your power here even if that's kind of unclear here with the seven of cups it's opening up new doors of opportunity it's like you're getting a gift like gifted an opportunity like literally straight from the hand of the divine here um, because I feel like ultimately you manifested it right um, you know the magician when that magician comes out this is about believing in yourself you know even if you you know don't really know what's ahead you don't really know what what you know uh, what it looks like this is about trusting your inner guidance and knowing that you have all the tools necessary to take on whatever comes your way so even if you're not clear about it you have to trust the process that you'll know what to do when it's time for you to respond but also 
when it comes to opportunities that are presenting themselves this is also about knowing that <clears throat> you know you manifested that right whether it's opportunities that don't serve you and opportunities that do there's always something to learn there and just know that you created both of them no matter what type of opportunities that are presenting themselves um no matter what nature they come in you ultimately have manifested that and when you take that accountability for your own life you then can change that as well you can see how those opportunities are really coming to you for your benefit right so it's either showing you that you're on point with what you're what you're asking for or it's showing you where you need to be a little bit more specific with what you're asking for right so either way when you take that accountability it's putting you back in your power so i feel like some of you are really being leveled up in such a way and clearing things out in order to really reclaim your power in that way and know that even if it feels or times feel like i don't have everything i need just know that as a magician as an alchemist yes you do you do so in this, I love how this deck depicts this card and I'm like really glad it came out for this <clears throat> because it clearly shows that you, all the elements that you have to work with that are in your benefit, right? So the sword represents your thoughts, your ideas. The pinnacle represents the material resources, whether it's money or physical items. The cup represents your emotions, the feelings that's required to put behind your intention to make it manifest. And then the wand, which requires the passion, the actions that's required to be taken to make things manifest, right? So this is ultimately, that's all you really need to know that you have what all it takes to manifest what you're asking for, okay? So let's dive into, you guys got three cards that came out and I was really only trying to get one, but I'm, you know, I'm going to do my best with three here. Obviously they needed to come out, so um two of these also scorpio got so you might if you have uh, scorpio placements you may want to check out that reading as well so they also got third eye activation brow chakra inner vision clear seeing okay so that could be what's going on for you guys as well so even if your third eye is already open for some of you this is serving as an upgrade for others of you this is your third eye is being opened and coming online okay <clears throat> so then we have stargate heart her chakra opening unlocking generosity right so for you guys this is all uh, chakra stuff that's being activated here which is still really beautiful um yeah so we got the heart chakra here and then we have temple of truth throat chakra authenticity and self-expression so i feel like some of you are you know it's it's time for you to really see what it is that that has been holding you back some of you have had a lot of things that you've been holding inside that you haven't yet expressed that need to be expressed okay i feel like the universe is really trying to bring in um be really generous by giving you gifts and you know helping you manifest things and bringing in love and abundance and all those things um that we really want to see but there's a need to really ask for what it is that you want right and do it from a place of truth from a place of this is what I want even if others don't like it even if others don't agree this is what I'm seeing you know I see things for what it is I see people for who they are and you know I'm I'm aligning with my truth you know and expressing that outwards so whether that's you expressing it to people directly you know speaking like how they say closed mouths don't get fed so this is also about you know that as far as other people but also with the universe with the most high god how however you resonate with it you know the ultimate creator of everything that um makes your heart beat every day right that allows your heart to beat every day so this is about expressing what you want you know getting clear about what you want and feeling that in your heart space and asking like sending it outwards that i want this this is what i want this is what i deserve and declaring that knowing that trusting that right that's how you get in alignment with it so some of you are being you know your um ability to see clearly what it is that you want some of you you know maybe have been going you know about your life at least more recently where it's like i don't even know what the fuck i want i don't know what i want i don't i you know some of you are being and it could be because of the blockages that were there right but because of all the karma you guys have been clearing is putting you back in your power in such a way to where you can now clearly see that this is what i want but this is what i don't want sometimes we have to get enough of what we don't want to get clear about what we do want right so for some of you that's also a way the crystal keys is working with you today or during this period to show you and help you see how you know you only went through certain things that were that were you know difficult to show you and help you observe that i don't want that i don't want to live like that right i've even had that that same experience with you know people that i've been around um you know with certain lifestyle habits and things like that and i'm just like damn like that sucks you know but it showed me that well if you don't want to end up like that then you need to exercise every day you need to be active you need to change your eating habits and you know different things that i can 
identify from the outside looking in by observing it for so long I can identify oh that's what contributed to that and they hold a lot of stuff in and you know and it's not to judge but it's the awareness right that if I don't want those same experiences to happen to me that's why I'm seeing it that's why I'm observing it to give me a heads up like yo you could head down, down that same road if you're not careful right so I feel like you know this is just an opportunity for you guys to where you guys are now starting to see situations clearly and when you allow yourself to see them from that higher vantage point of how it's really helping you instead of hurting you you don't have to take it personal you you can easily forgive and let go of the situations and actions of others and things like that that have essentially hurt us because you're able to see how it was really ultimately helping you right so um yeah so let's get into the tarot <clears throat> so we have the princess of wands okay so that's fire energy aries leo sag the wheel of fucking fortune yes okay hell yes that's sagittarius energy again so some of you may have sag in your chart you maybe dealing with one um we also have the five of swords and the queen of wands so a lot of fire energy here um and then your energy here showing up in the five of swords so ooh, i feel like your passions are being reignited here things are really changing in a beautiful way i feel like um if things have not been going your way that's what this karma that's clearing here okay and that's why your luck is changing okay it's like divine timing has always been at play but i feel like it's being made more clear to you that you're starting to see as things are shifting that it was just it's shifting because it's time you know if it didn't happen beforehand it's because it wasn't time yet it wasn't ready um and you can't control the universe's time things just have to happen as they may so i feel like you guys are are being activated in such a way where it's it's re i feel like it's re-sparking like it's reigniting your fire for life okay some of you it's like re-sparking your inner youth your inner child where it's making you excited about life okay i know for me i've been really needing that feeling and i've been feeling that more so i feel like some of you may be going through the same thing i don't even have libra, libra place, placements except for my um midheaven actually is libra so anyway um but yeah i feel like your 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 passion for life you know that spark that drive that inner you know desire to just go for it you know what i mean that's being reignited here i feel like things are, are shifting in such a way where it's like this is your time this is your time but it's time for you to you know see clearly see clearly what it is that you need to do step into your heart space drop into your heart space you know what does my heart really desire how do i really want to express myself what type of mark do i really want to make on the world right and allow yourself to really get excited about that shit. because when you get clear about it and you have a plan you know you know the potential of where you're going it makes it easy to take action from that place and the universe is literally supporting you in doing so okay by positioning you in such a way to where you're not only attracting like the energy that you need to do things to get things done but you're also attracting the the resources and the people and the opportunities that come with that that support what you're doing right so this represents your conflicts okay like your inner conflict for some of you this is you know um, wanting to win at all costs, I would be mindful of this energy of people, whether it's people around you that are trying to, that see you, you know, doing well, that are trying to stop you, that are trying to slow you down, that are trying to, you know, one up you, right? But be mindful of this energy within yourself. I'm not saying that you guys are on that, but just it's something to be aware of, right? That we don't let our, you know, our desires get the best of us and, you know, start um, trying to kind of like one up the other person or step on other people just to get ahead because no one wins in that way right but this is also feel like more so about you know the conflicts that some of you may be having going on in your mind okay some of you this is about you know kind of like feeling like i have big shoes to fill like i i see the dreams i now see clearly what i'm supposed to be doing or what i'm destined to do what i'm what i like the, the, the potential i feel like some of you are really seeing your own potential and it's making you excited but your mind might be trying to get in the way of that. Your mind might be trying to play tricks on you and tell you, I can't do that. You can't do that. Don't let that fucking happen, okay? This is really important for you guys to really see how the challenges that may be coming up against you at this time, especially, like I said, with the crystal keys of, of being able to see how your challenges are really revealing a lot to you so instead of taking them personal and making them as if it's hard and then getting upset about it really see how is this trying to really benefit me right now how is this really trying to help me what type of doors is really opening up for me right now you see what i'm saying so that is what i'm feeling like if, if you guys are feeling challenged at this time allow your challenges to benefit you allow them to serve you don't fall prey to your own challenges especially those limiting beliefs that try to creep up in your mind telling you that I can't do it or you're not capable or you'll never do that you'll never be a multi-millionaire bullshit you know this is about you know not 
putting the mind games aside, okay? Don't lie to yourself, right? And step into your confidence. This is about stepping into your power, being confident in what you're being guided to do, where you're being guided to go, what you're being guided to take action on because that yellow there, that represents your solar plexus chakra. So that's your chakra of confidence. That's your chakra of willpower, okay? And it's interesting. I didn't realize that three of them came out, but yeah, we'll talk about those at the end. So heavy emphasis on the... Um, solar plexus chakra so that's your chakra of confidence your chakra of um independence self-discipline willpower okay so this is like you know you've been asking for this you've been waiting for this and now things are aligning in such a way and turning where it's like okay it's your time it's your turn what are you going to do when this opportunity presents itself what's what are you going to do when the train pulls up are you going to hop on or are you going to stay you know and not bored because it's more comfortable right because we we ain't ready right so you guys are are being activated in such a way to really take action on the things that you've been wanting to do to really take action on um whatever ways that you're being guided to express yourself whether it's creatively or you know whatever it is the business that you're doing that you've been working on that you're starting whatever that is that you're pursuing this is about stepping into that the opportunities it's like it's like your your timing is here the timing is right now so now it's time to like jump on and don't let you know the negative thoughts or the conflicts that are trying to play in your mind don't let that stop you this is about you know stepping into your power don't let your thoughts override your passion for what you want the passion for your future the passion for you know um having your heart's desires don't let that stop you this is about you know acknowledging that they're there like i see you i understand however that's not stopping me i'm still going to take action because I know what the fuck I need to do. I know where I'm going and I know what's meant for me. One five 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 on the timer, five 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 represents change, major changes, okay? Um, conflicts still. So like I said, things are if whatever conflicts you've been experiencing, just know that's changing, okay? But you need to continue to be confident in yourself and what you're being guided to do, where you're being guided to go, and the actions you're being guided to take at this time. Okay. So let's dive into um Feel like let me see i want to read stargate heart for you guys i'm not going to read all of them because i don't want to bore you with with you know all the reading but i do want to um to read that one okay so let's see your heart space is a sacred space deep within you for some time. You have protected it with psychic shields that have not only stopped you from being hurt, but also stopped you from feeling love. This gateway appearing shows you, shows that you have, shows that you have finally dropped these shields and are ready to experience love. So for those of you that have been looking for love, uh, Libra, this is letting you know that you're aligning to that. So, um, universal wisdom wants you to know that this is your divine right. You are a highly empathic and generous soul who has so much to give and you are being called forth to reveal the deeper and more vulnerable aspects of your being. Divine light beings are surrounding you, holding you, and encouraging you to relax. All the restrictions and blockages of your heart space have now been removed. The worst is behind you and the world needs you. Mm. Like I said, they have been removed and we already talked about that. Thank you, spirit, so much. That was why I was guided to read that one because <clears throat> that's just letting you know, Libra, the work you've been doing, it's working, okay? The karma that you've been trying to clear, it's it's been released. And that was your double confirmation that the clear the, the what you've been clearing, the things you've been the yeah, learning lessons, wisdom transmission, exactly. The lessons you guys have been learning and things like it's all paying off. So if you it's like now being able to see why certain things happened, why certain things didn't work. There was something to learn there. It was showing you maybe where your heart was blocked. Maybe other people who couldn't love you properly was because really we're still trying to love ourselves properly, right? So allowing yourself to be honest with that. And then honestly too, being, truth, being truthful about what it is that you want, what you do want, what you don't want, right? And not feeling like you have to settle for sake of, well, this person's in my life and I like a lot of things about them, but there's just these things that really, really bother me and, but everything else is great. So I'm just gonna ignore that, no. This is about not settling, not, you know, feeling like I need, I deserve second best. No, you deserve everything you fucking desire, everything you ask for, right? So I noticed this here, so I'm going to just put that one on top because we're going to talk about it here in a bit. So what your galactic family would like you to focus on at this time to assist you in this um, activation process is uh, 21, communication co-creation. Wow. 
such a beautiful card. Can we just acknowledge the beauty of this card, right? Like real quick. I just want to um, also acknowledge the fact that both of these are talking about expression, your throat chakra, communication. So communicating, like I said, being clear about what you want and asking for it because you know you deserve it. You know that you're that you are worthy and deserving of having what you're asking for. So this is talking to the universe. Focus on what you're asking the universe for. But making sure that you're clear about it, you know, because when we're not clear about what we want and then things come, we get mad at the universe as if the universe did it. And it's like, no, you just weren't specific enough. I gave you what you asked for. Right. So this is about being accountable. Right. To get clear about what it is that we want, making sure that it's, it's connected to our hearts, desires and what our heart is asking for and then communicating it from that place. OK. I feel like some of you have maybe been confused about how to do that or maybe just not confused, but maybe just having a hard time kind of like getting it right or feeling like you're getting it right. This is how you're doing that. So you're being asked at this time now that you're you have those in that in alignment and it's you know, it's it's your time. Things are changing in a positive way for you. This is now communicating with your with your um, co-creating with your spirit team, you know, asking your ancestors for help or whoever it is that you work with or whatever you call upon um, in the ethers for assistance. This is getting clear, communicating clearly with them about what it is that you want, how you want them to help you. You know, let's work together. They're, it's like they're here to assist you, but they cannot act upon your behalf unless you ask. So, you know, and that's because of free will. By universal law, they have to, they follow the angels. That's why they're angels, because they follow universal law. So they cannot act on your behalf without your permission. So if you want them to help you with something and create something with you or, you know, whatever, you have to communicate that. You have to ask them, please help me. Or, you know, what is the... Please um, support me in giving me this idea. What is the idea? What what do I need to do? Like whatever it is that you're asking for, look at that. Right to it. So nonverbal communication, love language, telepathy, unique ways of communication, communication, light language, multidimensional information, community coexistence, relationships, meeting our higher selves, our higher selves, really seeing someone, deeper listening. So interesting. It's, a, it's like, I feel like you're being asked to really focus on, you know, what you want, but the relationship that you have with yourself and others, especially those that really mean something to you, especially like I was saying, if it's like in a connection where um, <clears throat> there may have been conflicts, this is, you know, supporting yourself, um, knowing that you're supported in what you're asking for, you know, allowing yourself to see someone for who like see through some of your that's what's being activated here is not only your ability to see things clearly about what you want but some of you are being activated in such a way to see someone else's true heart's desires to see beyond what's being said to see what someone isn't saying you know what i'm saying and being even with yourself right what's not being expressed being able to read someone's body language right some of you are you know being asked to really pay attention you know especially when it comes to connections outside of yourself that you may have been confused about especially ones that may have been causing conflicts or you're kind of like you guys are arguing you know pay attention you're being asked to you know pay attention to, to what what their body language is like you know and that kind of will reveal to you and with your third eye being um activated more or opened up more it's going to help you also see what is what is really hiding underneath what isn't being said right what they really want to say but maybe can't find the words or they're scared or you know they're afraid of being hurt you know things like that it'll also i feel like help strengthen your connections in that sense too especially the connection you have with yourself and your guides so let's get into the tarot so what they would like you to focus on three of swords okay nine of wands six six of wands six of wands and the princess of cups so that's the page of cups so i feel like you're being really asked to you know especially when it comes to your own pain your own heartbreak um to really get you know allow yourself to delve more into you know how you've the walls you've put up the boundaries you've put in place because of the, the pain that has um that you've experienced okay um I also feel like this is also about for those of you that have maybe um, are dating or, you know, uh, in a connection right now. This is also about, I feel like someone that you're dealing with that has experienced pain, that's why they're blocked off. For some of you that are dealing with someone that is that is like maybe having boundaries, has certain walls up against you, or um, they kind of like just have you blocked 
energetically where you can't where it's like they seems like they like you they're into you but you can't seem to get past a certain level or um it's like they're not letting you in in some type of way okay i feel like that's it's happening for a reason and some of you are really being asked to when you tap into this energy of this communication co-creation here is it'll help you feel into what is really going on that they're not expressing to you some of you are thinking like taking it personal is like they just don't like me and da 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 but some of you really don't know that they're really harboring a lot of pain from some type of heartbreak that they're still dealing with so you know um i feel like some of you that's why you're being asked to kind of pay attention you know focus on you know connecting better as you connect better with yourself it'll help you also connect better with other people right meaning to have like the compassion for example that you're able to the more compassion and patience that you can have for yourself will also help you have that same compassion and extend that to other people when they need it to be able to you know see the subtleties of what people aren't revealing what they're not saying right and i feel like that'll ultimately you know have bring success into this relationship or this connection it'll you know help you overcome whatever challenges that some of you are experiencing at this time okay but this is also what i'm getting here is you're being asked to remain optimistic in a situation okay whether this is about a connection or just simply your own life that you know you've been hurt but it's not time to give up some of you that's this mess that message is very clear as well that some of you are being asked to you know allow yourself to acknowledge the pain that you've experienced and heal from that allow yourself to you know reflect do the shadow work around it you know think about ask yourself the hard questions about why it happened but also you know what what that person may have been dealing with or going through and you know this is about perseverance okay setting healthy boundaries but keeping going like keep going don't give up don't quit don't stop keep you know working and that's where you know the success lies that's how you overcome it's not trying to go around or dip you know kind of like avoid but go th straight through it some of you that's what you're being guided to do here is to really focus on maybe the things that you haven't been able to say the things that maybe you know you need to express but haven't been able to right because of the pain that maybe has been caused before that's made you put up certain walls with people right it's like sometimes we try to avoid that thinking that if I just don't look at it, I heal from it. I don't think about it anymore. It doesn't bother me. But really, have you? You know what I'm saying? Or do we just sweep it under the rug so good and then put a bunch of furniture and shit on top of it to where it just kind of like disappeared, right? That doesn't mean that after you pull all that stuff from on top of it and you lift that rug that it's not still there waiting for you, okay? So I feel like some of you are really being asked at this time as well to really identify what pain that some of you are maybe still holding on to and allow yourself to start healing that energy so you can continue to push forward, you know, set healthy boundaries because now you understand why certain things happen, but that doesn't, and now it allows you to keep going from that place of, I know I'm protected and I need to keep moving. And that's how you overcome, essentially overcome those challenges and start receiving the rewards, the success, the attention and things that you want because you've energetically cleared that karma. Okay. Some of you, that's kind of what this was, where the pain that some of you are still holding on to or still maybe thinking about, or even if you're not thinking about it anymore, it may still be playing out in your experience, right? And that is where I was feeling here with this um, karma release, radical transformation that some of you, you know, that's what this is about, that you're that you're now in this energy of able of being able to release that, right? Um, and continue to push forward to continue to receive the success and blessings and accolades and things that you've been working so hard for, okay? But it does require you to, you know, really step into this childlike sense of wonder, this childlike sense of optimism, right? That believing that, you know, I know that I've been hurt. I know what my history was. I know what I've gone through. But I'm believing, I'm choosing to still believe for better, to still believe for more. That no matter how many times I've fallen, that if I try at least one more time, that there's a possibility that it'll be different this time, okay? You're really being asked to, to have that sense of optimism at this time, okay? I mean, even if it's not talking about love, this three of swords can represent any type of pain, right? Anything that made us feel defeated, rejected, um, heartbroken, you know, it doesn't matter what it is, but it's about, you know, allowing yourself to feel how you feel, you know, and navigate through that energy instead of trying to go, you know, around it, go right through it, okay? This is your resilience. This is pushing through. This is, you know, having pulling on the strength of your ancestors to keep going and that's what's going to bring you into ultimate success because you chose to be optimistic instead of giving up okay so let's wrap with your chakras so the chakras that um your galactic family would like you to would feel that you would benefit from at this time um we have the throat chakra which has come up again we have the solar plexus chakra and the second chakra, the sacral chakra. So 
in this solar plexus card that's why i pulled that out earlier because i you know wanted to come back to that now so we have doubles i'm showing you guys the repeats here of the solar plexus chakra so that's your again your chakra of confidence willpower um independence you know determination drive getting things done right it is a masculine energy but you know wearing more yellow eating yellow foods drinking yellow things solar plexus um chakra meditations um there was another one that i was going to give you and i can't it just slipped my mind that fast um even solar plexus uh, affirmations and even if you're so guided i do um chakra clearing sessions with tuning forks so you can feel free to reach out for a session if you like so you know but we also have the throat chakra and that's showing up here twice as well okay so double confirmations on the chakras that you'd really benefit from just doing a little work on or paying more attention to you know doing as you're guided do more things that help you that support you using those chakras meaning like for example your throat chakra if you're you know when you want to when you would normally not say anything and you really want to say something you know address something or speak up for something or yourself or whatever where you would normally just be passive about it how you honor that and, and help clear your own blockages is by when you would normally not do it do it where you would normally hold back speak up right it's like just basically doing the opposite of what you would normally do and that's in all of them right same thing with the solar plexus if you would normally like i really want to do this thing but i don't i'm not confident this is taking that first step and doing it anyway or what is the first smallest step you could take in the direction of that thing right whatever it is it's like those little steps every day is what helps you know release any blockages that you might have in these in your chakras and um the same thing for like your sacral chakra that's your chakra of abundance your chakra of creativity manifestation things like that so this is you know when you're guided to color if that's something maybe you maybe used to enjoy as a kid or the drawing um dancing you know sensual you know body um rubbing things like that and i don't mean to like turn yourself on but i mean that sometimes would happen but i'm talking about just that sensual nature that's how you stir up that energy it's an energy so you know you might benefit from doing those things as well so you can feel free to um repeat these after me as i read them or you know rewind it and play it back you know so throat chakra creative expression i'm committed to sharing and receiving let me start over <laughs> i am committed to sharing and revealing my thoughts and feelings by being creative in my communication style and using expressive language i express myself through talking singing sighing laughing and crying and using my creative talents I consciously use my senses to experience my world more fully. I see, hear, smell, and feel more, and I become more aware of my surroundings, such as the weather, aromas, people, nature, sounds, and sights. Okay? And that was also what this was talking about, communication. So heavy on the throat chakra energy here. So next one is the solar plexus, the warrior. Yes. I embrace my inner strength, power, let me pause there. It just came back to me when I read the warrior. So what I was going to say to you that I said I forgot was also in any of these, especially the solar plexus chakra as that relates to this, the Leo, the lion. Okay, even if you're not a Leo, it doesn't matter. You can still tap into um, the lion energy. Okay, the, the energy of the Leo, right? Um, that the lion you can pull on, you know, call upon that energy to help you be more confident, to help you be more assertive, to help you get things done, to, you know, fire up your drive, determination, power, and all that. That talks about your personal power, your independence, confidence, all those things. So if you're ever needing to, you know, need more help in those areas, you can always call upon the energy of the lion of the Leo, which also governs the sun, right? So sitting out in the sun is another good way. Just thought of that. Thank you, spirit. So the sun energy is very healing, but also and you know governs to the solar plexus chakra so all right let's keep going so i embrace my inner strength power and resilience and i allow myself to shine i unfold my full potential as an empowered person with a true sense of who i am i grow in consciousness as i overcome and transcend life's challenges i need the warrior inside of me for the journey ahead and i am courageous in moving forward that's a fucking lootly okay so that's solar plexus and last one, the sacral chakra, abundance. I am worthy and I deserve an abundance of anything that I require. I watch my thoughts to ensure that I'm honoring and respecting myself. I honor myself by knowing that I'm worthy to receive. I'm open to receive now. I remind myself that it is a sign of strength to ask for help. OK, 
Okay. So yeah, that's your chakra of abundance, of prosperity, of receiving, of emotion. Okay. So any blocked emotions, that's where it's going to be held. So if you're, for like I said, those of you that have been maybe holding things back, keeping things inside, that's what's blocking your abundance because your sacral chakra is your chakra of emotions. So the things that you've been holding inside that's been waiting to just pour out of you, it's time to do that and let that happen. Okay. So Libras, that's what I have for you. I really hope you enjoyed this reading as much as I did delivering it. If you did, I'd really appreciate it if you drop a comment, um, give the video a thumbs up, consider subscribing if you have not. And until next time, you guys. going on Scorpio welcome or welcome back to the channel elevated spirits it's Jazzy your favorite Cali reader so this is going to be your 1212 portal slash new moon reading um, messages from your galactic family so um, I got the channel two new decks and right on the tail end of that they're like yeah I need you to do this reading basically so here I am I'm being obedient to my guidance so if you are catching this after the 12th just know that time is fluid not linear so know that when the messages come to you is when it is your time to hear them is when it's meant for you it'll make more sense then so also remember that these messages are general in nature meaning they're not going to resonate with all of you nor are they meant to so please only take what truly fits or what makes sense to you and leave what does not um so let's get into this i do have um two sets of cards here the first set is representative of what this 12 12 portal new moon energy is activating for you at this time um, as it relates to, you know, your galactic family and, syst and star systems, things like that. And then um, this set here is in reference to what your galactic family um, would like you to focus on at this time to assist you in this activation process. Okay. So it's like, while they help us in the ethers, we also have to do our part here in the 3D. So that's what this reading is about. And we're also going to break it down a little bit further with the tarot. So the word of today is, it's a slow process, but quitting won't speed it up. So if things may be taking their time or seem like they're taking a bit longer than they need to, just know that the worst is over, the worst is behind you, but you know, also quitting won't make that go any faster. So just know that it'll actually make it take longer if you quit now. So, <laughs> um, so before I dive into the messages for you guys, just looking at the bottoms of the decks here that I, um, that I've used so far, it feels like you guys are definitely going through your crown chakra is upgrading in some type of way. Okay. It feels like it's it's being like cleansed and purified but also leveled up and opened up in, in some type of way so some of you may be experiencing headaches um you know uh, things going on like tingling sensations it could be you know many different things it's you know the experience will be different for all of you but um just know that if you're experiencing those type of things or you know frequent headaches recent more recently things like that your crown chakra is is going through its own upgrade so do your best to be patient with yourself i feel like um, there's something that you guys are being guided to free yourself from at this time. Okay. Um, I feel like there's, if it, I don't, I'm not sure if it's a connection or a, an environment, um, a job, whatever that might be, something that has been really challenging for you guys. It could be just, or like I said, if it's a connection where it's just more drama than you care for, um, things that maybe drama or conflict that's been causing stress, that's been, you know, kind of like messing with your sleep, making you, you know, um, have sleepless nights, things like that. Um, that's, it's time for something to end. Okay. So I feel like either you're needing to free yourself. So for those of you that have been kind of like, you know, just kind of like dealing with something kind of like pushing through because, you know, I'm strong and that's what I do. Something is you're needing to free yourself from something at this time. I feel like you're being asked to put something to rest. Something needs to end. Okay now for others of you this could also and i feel like what's well before i get into the other message um what i'm also getting is if you're unaware or maybe not clear about what exactly that is what exactly is this this situation that you know is just kind of like causing more problems than it's worth or you know it at least makes you feel like that that you're needing to free yourself from or set yourself free from that's going to be made clear to you as well with this um, crown chakra upgrade, it's going to be, I feel like it's it's happening at this time to open you up to receive, the, not only receive the guidance, but trust the guidance you're receiving and what this is in reference to, okay? Um, for some of you, you already know what I'm talking about, that you kind of like maybe had a feeling but wasn't sure. 
um, and looking at the, the chakra cards here that we're going to discuss at the end of the reading, it makes sense. So this is about, you know what this is. It's just a matter of you trusting what you know and responding from that place. Okay. There's something, you, but you're needing to see uh, for yourself from. So some of you, um, a dove may be of significance, a spirit animal for some of you, which can also represent um, family, like past over loved ones, ancestors, um, whether you've met them in this realm or not. You know, it doesn't matter. You still have angels and guys that are definitely heavily watching over you at this time that are, um, you know, connecting with you. That are maybe, you, for those of you maybe seeing white doves, um, you also may be seeing dragonflies. So if those, any of those, um, either of those are ones that you're seeing, that could definitely be your past on loved ones or your spirit team that's watching over you, that's encouraging you to set yourself free from something, to let something in, especially if it's been causing stress, if it's making you, you know, lose sleep, if it's, you know, just drama, just conflict, whatever that might be for you, this is, you're really being encouraged at this time to free yourself from those things, okay? So what is activating? Um, like I said, these are new decks. So I will be getting a little bit more information out of the guidebooks just because I feel like I enjoy and appreciate how they've been complimenting the other messages so far. So I want to give you the guys that opportunity as well. So we have third eye activation. Holy shit, if this ain't more synchronistic. So we have the third eye activation, brown chakra, brow chakra, inner vision, clear seeing. And then we have temple of truth, throat chakra, authenticity and self-expression. So that's pretty fucking clear so both of your both of your your third eye and your throat chakra are being activated at this time okay um i feel like some of you have definitely been um holding things in there's something that needs to be said maybe something that you've maybe been needing to express or been wanting to express but didn't know how to express it <clears throat> i feel like it's those areas are being cleared those chakra centers are being cleared in order for you to not only see exactly the way you're supposed to do it but give you the confidence to do it from a place of what's true to you being honest with yourself but also allowing you to be honest with others um like i said i feel like it's it's something that maybe has been causing like i said making you lose sleep or that you've been maybe overthinking a lot that's been really causing a lot of stress a lot of anxiety um and I feel like this is, you know, this is kind of taking place now because it's it's time for you to see something for what it is, see a situation or a connection for, you know, what it is, see other people for who they are and, you know, allow yourself to really be honest with yourself and, you know, express that, be truthful um, because it feels like, you know, it's like the floodgates are trying to open up here. It's like some of you have been holding a lot back that's just ready to kind of like just pour through and it it's like the longer we hold back, it's like think about when... A dam is blocked off for so long when that it was finally opened up it's like you know ample amount of water that just pours through just rushes through and you know think of the destruction that sometimes happens in that process so i feel like um new pathways are opening for you okay um i feel like once this once this kind of like you know you get on the other side of this it's i feel like it's going to be very liberating okay I feel like some of you are going to feel an immense a sense of like relief. Um, I also feel like it's going to help you also feel more connected to your guides as well. Okay. I feel like for those of you also who have been maybe having issues with your vision, no, I'm not a doctor and nor am I implying that any, you know, type of medical advice. So, you know, but just making that disclaimer. But um, some of you who have been having maybe issues like blurry vision or things with your eyes, your third eye um, opening and seeing you know things more clearly would also clear up your vision as well so as you're as you clear these chakra centers that also affects how your body responds so that's like a whole different topic for another day but it's like it's very powerful so just know that you know your physical any physical ailments that you're experiencing on the outside is just a very clear indication of what's going on on the inside meaning like your your chakra system <clears throat> is going on spiritually so when you take care of your chakra system, that will outwardly reflect in all the any type of ailments or um, imbalance or, you know, things that you're experiencing physically in your vessel. Just, you know, putting that out there. So let's get into let's get the guidebook for these. So third eye activation. Let's see. So. This gateway encourages you to unlock your psychic abilities and to stop questioning your divine ability to see. 
know that great potential and healing will be unleashed when this space is activated. If you have an intuition about something, trust what you are seeing. This is a sacred time for the psychic potential that you have had since childhood is awakening from slumber. You've always been a dreamer, sometimes thinking about how the future will show up or revising the past. Now the gifts that have been discouraged in the past are reawakening and your inner vision is stronger than you imagine stronger than you imagine you have an innate ability to see further than human eyes and are able to identify the energies of what is going on around you with your activated third eye this gateway is here as a confirmation that what you are seeing and experiencing is in divine alignment and that you are being supported as you develop this source given gift okay so <clears throat> it's important for you guys to really trust the process that you're experiencing right now scorpio um especially like i said as it pertains to um, things that maybe you're seeing things that you didn't see before seeing things in ways you maybe haven't seen it before um, It's happening on purpose. It's literally happening for you to see something clearly and then express it outward. So that way you Especially like say for example if it comes to like ideas that you have right When you allow yourself to like see it clearly see it, you know The vision that you're being given you can then respond and express it outwardly, right? And expression isn't just about talking and speaking it's about creativity and you know um language the language you use how you talk to yourself how you talk to others how you talk about yourself and talk about others and you know all that thing it's all the ways that we express ourselves so whether it's body language through our talking through the actions we take um the thoughts we have all those things it's all about that's all things that's about expressing yourself so you guys are really being asked to really get clear about um about what you want you know what you want but also what needs to be seen at this time whether it's in like i said in connections jobs you know it's like i'm getting the reevaluation type of energy okay for some of you like i said there's something that you're needing to set yourself free from okay there's like a new new blueprints underneath that it's like there's things that are trying to come in like new experiences new ways of expressing it's like a new level up of your journey is trying to come through but we have to also allow that as well um we have to allow ourselves to see things for what they are, not what we wanted them to be, right? See people for who they are, not the potential that we may have fell in love with, the potential of what could be. What is what is it really, though? You know what I mean? Um, so for some of you that have, like I said, been experiencing some type of chaos or conflicts, things like that, that have been causing a lot of stress and, and anxiety, um, maybe keeping you up at night, things like that, it's time to put that to rest. It's time to be honest with yourself and express if it's necessary what you know what you're feeling about that if, it, if it's needing to like break up with someone or leave something behind or whatever disconnect this is a time to you know put it into that and free yourself from what you've been holding on to okay so temple of truth so let's read that one when you were brought to this space you were being reminded of the importance of your identity and your self-expression in this lifetime acknowledging who you are who you have been and who you are becoming is so important for the unfoldment of your path there's an old story that the truth hurts this gateway reminds you that in fact the truth heals your truth is your truth and it's important for you to honor it with every facet of your being this isn't the first incarnation in which you have felt the importance of honesty and authenticity but it may be the first in which you have had full freedom of expression this gateway is coming to you today this gateway coming to you today is a message that there is something buried deep inside you that you haven't expressed and this is causing energetic blockages in the in your, on your ever unfolding path it is a time to love yourself enough to honor the feelings that are rising up in you for their divine guidance and it will bring you into greater alignment so like i was saying there's things that some of you have been holding in suppressing holding back you know you could hold it back as much as you want and you've and i feel like some of you have maybe gotten to a point where you've kind of like adapted to that and you know accepted like well that's what it is that's just who i am blah 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 and you know i call bullshit only because you know of the things that i've learned in the research i've done and the healing i've done for myself that that's not you don't have to keep old stories unless you choose to we've just you know have gotten so accustomed to doing things a certain way to where we've learned how to adapt around that that's you know what we do we're, we're adaptable we're malleable but does that mean that it makes whatever you're hiding go away no it doesn't it just shows up in other ways which is i.e physical health um accidents you know disease 
meaning like discord within your body, energetic imbalances, which then turn into physical dis-ease like cancer, different things like that. I'm not projecting that onto you. I'm not speaking that into existence. Don't get me wrong. But what I am saying, that's an awareness of being aware that the longer you hold things inside and just pretend like, oh, well, you know, I'm gonna just work around it. I've just grown out of, you know, because I hold my feelings in so much that, you know, I've just learned how to like that I just don't feel anymore, right? That doesn't mean that it's gonna go away. It doesn't mean that that fixes the problem, that that's still not getting to the root issue of why that even became a thing, why where that even started, right? It's just gonna show up for you later on in different ways and you'll have to then deal with that then, right? So it's like, this is about seeing what you need to see and allow yourself to start expressing what needs to be expressed, right? Before it's too late. So, six of swords, four of wands, Six of Cups, we have two sixes, and the King of Swords. Okay, so, so for some of you, this is about moving on from something. For some of you, this is moving on from a family, moving on from some type of support unit, a community, um, maybe people that you grew up with, friends, family. Um, this is about leaving those connections behind. I feel like some of you, this is really about setting your emotions aside and really being honest with yourself and cutting out the things that no longer serve you, okay? Being, you know, seeing that, you know, family, especially when it comes to family, I've learned, I had to learn the hard way that like, we picked our family, we chose who we wanted to have certain lessons with because we knew, our soul knew at least that we, nobody else could teach us those lessons, nobody else could help us clear those karmas in, you know, um, for our soul's growth and evolution, nobody else could help us with that, but that particular person is why we chose them, right? But in that same sense doesn't always mean that just because you chose them those people to have these experiences with that they're meant to go with you your whole lifetime okay um so i feel like for some of you this is really activating and showing you what you're needing to move away from okay and in doing so that's where you restore your stability you restore your balance you restore um you know for some of you who's been trying to establish or re-establish a foundation some of you this is about moving okay some of you have maybe recently moved homes some of you are thinking about moving okay and but this is i feel like about really about leaving seeing what you're needing to leave behind seeing that a family unit with this um four of wands and the six of cups this is leaving behind supports or you know connections that you may have once been supported by or once you know what you once supported that you grew up with that you've known for a long time that you have history with childhood all those things which is great and fine but not every you know it's like not everything is meant to last. It's like everything has its season, right? So I feel like some of you are really being activated at this time to see what it is that you're exactly being asked to leave behind and move away from and essentially, you know, carry on with your life and be real with yourself about that, you know, being clear, being honest, being truthful about what you know you need to leave behind and cutting those things away because, you know, when we are honest with ourselves and we use our sort of truth and we put our, take our emotions out of it, it makes it easier to see things for what it is and not what we wanted it to be or what it's always been right it's like you know the only change the only thing constant is change so this is about you know leaving those things allowing yourself to disconnect from those things and be honest with yourself that you know they were in my life and they taught me a lot i appreciate the lessons and i'm grateful for the experiences and the memories and all those things but not everything and not everyone is meant to go where you're heading not everybody is meant to go into that next chapter especially with you know for those that resonate with the new year being in january for those of you that are wanting to start the new year in a fresh in a fresh new way you're really being asked to free yourself okay we have moving on here freedom ten of swords represents endings like you know what i'm saying like it's not it's not getting any more clear here <laughs> you know it can't be any clearer than that it's just a matter of you guys trusting yourself some of you just maybe couldn't see it that way and that's why your third eye is being activated here to really show you what you're needing to see so you can truly express yourself and, and step in more into your authenticity this time okay so what is the scorpios what are their galactic family asking them to focus on at this time to better assist them so oh this is so fitting i love this this is so fitting so we have four another four so we have six six four four here those numbers may be of significance um which also the six and the four 64 here um is a 10 this four and six a 10 which is another 10 10 
okay 10 10 10 all right this represents endings new beginnings it's time for a new cycle so you guys are really being guided to free yourself from something i feel like it's kind of like some of you have been on this loop of going through a cycle over and over and over again it's like when are you going to get off the hamster wheel right and some of you maybe hadn't seen it like that up until this point but this portal energy is activating that within you to help you see that damn i've been blocking myself the whole time or this is why i've been holding this back or this is why i've been you know i've been suppressing my feelings or suppressing you know what i really want to say um, but not realizing how it's really hurting you on the inside, right? So what you're being asked to focus on here is the solar plexus chakra, radiant illumination. So I was already getting the chakras with this, with another deck, but this is like added on, okay? So your solar plexus chakra, can we just acknowledge real fast how beautiful this card is? Like, it is so freaking pretty. <laughs> so the solar plexus chakra. So this is your chakra of confidence, your chakra of willpower, of determination, drive, of, you know, your gut, your gut reaction, that second brain in your body, not just the one on top of your head, but the one in the middle of your fucking stomach, the pit of your stomach. When you feel, when you make a decision that you know wasn't in alignment and you feel that shit in your stomach, this is that chakra letting you know, like we just blocked ourselves again. You know what I'm saying? So you're really being asked to focus on, you know, clearing that, stepping into your confidence. And, you know, again, by seeing things, and people and yourself for who and what it what it is and who you are and all those things is going to also help you step further into alignment and doing that so we also have loving compassion so we also have card four 16 those numbers may be of significance you may be seeing those four 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 um that's Arch archangel michael's number just you know putting that out there um loving compassion so this is you know about being compassionate with yourself but also others you know um moving from a place of love, knowing that any decision that you're making, you know, um, doing it from the highest of all involved, you know, it's like, just because if we have to end things, it doesn't mean we have to be mean about it. It doesn't mean we have to, you know, um, cause y'all, I know y'all represent the death, right? And so when people, when you guys, you know, you guys have the ability to end things in such a way where people really feel that shit, they feel the disconnect, they feel the death of the connection, right? And so, you know, some of you might be asked to consider that even if you're being asked to end something or, um, let something go free yourself from something that you can still choose to do it in a loving and compassionate way that not only benefits whoever it is that you're releasing or what you're releasing but also benefits you in that you know in a great way as well so let's get a little bit from this one so the solar plexus personal power independence yes self-discipline confidence assertiveness decision making belief intellectual abilities expression of will bringing ideas into reality okay so you know this is about really and what's also helpful is um you know for those that are interested in trying to clear your um solar plexus chakra i for one am a certified reiki master as well as i do um chakra clearing energy chakra, chakra clearing sessions with tuning forks so you can feel free to reach out if you need any of that um any of those services but also eating yellow foods wearing yellow clothes um, listening to solar plexus chakra meditations, things like that can also all those collectively, whether you do them, you know, singularly or together, are really great ways to clear your chakras. And you could do that with the same things for any of your chakras. <clears throat> so let's get 16. And I'm just reading these, like I said, just a little bit from these because I like how they've been complementing the other messages. So uh, loving compassion. So unconditional love, empathy, compassion, care friendliness goodwill benevolence beyond duality safe space forgiveness through expand forgiveness through expanded perspectives open-hearted joy okay so i you know it's kind of like if things are if someone if this is something that you're moving on from a connection that you're needing to see clearly that you're being guided to move away from or that's moving away from you this is still you know understanding that we can you know still do that that you know forgiveness still offering forgiveness whether it's you know forgiveness of what you're the decision you're making or forgiving someone else for feeling like they need to make a decision um that we don't we don't have to do it in a we don't have to be mean about it right we can still maintain a friendly um a friendly energy about you know the situation especially if it feels harsh if it feels like something just happened suddenly unexpectedly you know offer extend forgiveness even if you don't understand it even if it doesn't make sense because you offering extending forgiveness doesn't excuse another's behavior at all but it does free you from the guilt or from the pain the resentment that would build 
by not doing so, okay? Which only at the end hurts you, so. All right, so let's get into the tarot. So we have the 10 of cups, okay? The queen of wands, the high priestess, and the three of wands. So this is, you know, really focusing on what makes you happy, you know? Um, it's crazy how the third eye chakra is up here again. I literally now have four cards on this board, four. Four, another fucking four, by the way, just throwing that out there. Four cards talking about your third eye, because like I said, I haven't even gotten to these yet, and both of these happen to be the third eye chakra. I might as well just tell you now, because it's all here, so <laughs> we're almost there anyway, so let's just, you know, show you, okay? Four cards here talking about the third eye. So some of you, this is definitely, you know, heightened awareness. Your third eye is definitely, for some of you coming online, for others of you, it's being increased in a major way where you can't fucking ignore it if you wanted to. So you're really being asked, your galactic family is asking you to really focus on your happiness, your joy, you know, um, what fulfills you, you know, what makes you happy, um, and making sure, being confident that you can have that, responding, taking action from that place, okay, um, you know, really stepping back into your power, all this yellow going on here and all these cards is all representative of your solar plexus chakra, okay, so, you know, it's, it's, it's like repeated confirmations here that, you know, you're being asked to really step into your power, focus on your own happiness, do what makes you happy, um, you know, follow your intuition and where you're being guided to go. You know, some of you have new opportunities and new things that are waiting to come in, but we can't allow them when we're too stuck on, you know, what didn't work. And that's why I feel like some of you are being guided to move on from things, leave certain connections behind or certain family groups or dynamics or um, communities, whatever that is for you, friendship circles, you know, whatever, however that applies. Um, because I feel like some of you, it's, it's really, it has, it stands a potential of blocking true happiness from you okay or, or whether that's in a connection or just feeling happy in your life in general um for some of you it's like keeping opportunities that are trying to come into your experience it's like you have to make room for them and that's requiring you to free yourself from things that i feel like some of you either know that you need to end or that have already ended this is you know allowing yourself to free yourself from those things it's no sense of holding on to the past because the past has already happened it's like you're robbing yourself of the present moment and all the things that could be experienced now but also the things that are trying to come in in the future so you know for some of you this definitely is a past connection some type of moving on from a past relationship that some of you were you know maybe in this could be definitely someone you had kids with someone that you just maybe was in a connection with that you lived with that you have history with whatever this is about you know seeing that for what it is and you know cutting it away you know speaking your truth if there's something maybe more that you need to say that you didn't say or that you want to say that you should say whatever that is this is about stepping into that energy and using your sword of truth to be honest and be clear and direct you don't have to be you know asshole about it to be honest right but something still needs to be expressed here and then you know allowing yourself to you know remove and cut out anything that doesn't belong that's not in alignment with where you're going if it doesn't make you happy it doesn't belong right Whew. and so for some of you as far as this ten of swords goes for some of you there's some backstab or betrayal some of you this has to do with competition okay um competing energies here whether this is um other people competing with you or you having other people in competition okay this you know if there's been some stress surrounding some type of backstab or betrayal this is you know allowing yourself to be forgiven freeing yourself from those things um i would highly recommend on you know allowing yourself to dive into why it happened in the first place especially if it's something that you know is kind of like uh, done on your behalf but if it's not you know still even if it is forgive yourself right this is again what the loving compassion is you know forgive yourself but also forgive others you know people hurt people hurt people so others when people hurt us it's because they're 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 hurt themselves and they don't know how to process it so that's where you extend forgiveness doesn't mean you need to keep them in your experience nor does it mean that you need to give them another chance and let them back in your experience but it's seeing it for what the fuck it is and being honest with yourself even if it hurt you being honest with yourself about that you know expressing that learning how to express that in some type of way so you can get that energy and release it so you can take that energy and release it and transmute it into something better into something creative into what it is you're asking for right into the ability to take action on what you know you need to do that would ultimately i feel like bring you the most happiness okay 
So it's about really being confident in what you're being guided to do, what you're being guided to go, especially if it has to do with letting people go, moving on from something, releasing something. This is, you know, intuitively, you know what this is. You know what you're being asked to do at this time. So it's about moving in a new direction, you know, really um, allowing yourself to move forward. Okay. Choosing the two, the two of wands is the choosing of the direction, right? And the three is actually, you know, going in that direction, taking whatever actions you're being guided to take in that direction, knowing that, you know, what you're asking for is right on the other side of that, right? And the four represents the celebration, okay? Things to celebrate. Accomplishments, right? Feeling supported as you should. Okay, so let's wrap with the chakras. So we have two, same chakra. Don't know how that happened, but <laughs> obviously it needed to come out because it's here four times now for you guys. So first one is wisdom and discernment. So you can feel free to rewind this, slow it down, repeat after me if you'd like. I'm open to understanding the spiritual truths behind the situations occurring in my life right now. I offer my wisdom to assist others along their path. I trust in a higher source to guide me and to help others who ask for my guidance. I practice discernment and I listen deeply within for the truth. I choose to respond to rather I choose to respond to rather than just reacting to situations, acting with clarity, courage, and conviction. That's deep. So it's third eye chakra. So the second one says inner knowing. I trust my inner knowing and I'm at peace with myself. I create more moments of stillness and silence and I listen for the truth. I'm open to connecting with and listening to my gut and my heart's feelings and I don't override them with my mind's logic. I practice meditation, prayer, and contemplation, okay? And that's really what this is here, you know, this logical thinking. So some of you are, you know, being asked to move on from things that, you know, or people that you don't feel, like, where it's like you can't feel anything. It's just, you know, logic that's making decisions for you. But for some of you, it's like that's necessary, and that's where your discernment comes in, you know, to be able to see with your third eye <clears throat> which one is necessary for what situation so whew, all right scorpios that's what i have for you i hope you enjoyed this reading i really pray that the those that um need the messages receive them if you did enjoy it if it resonated at all feel free to like this video consider subscribing if you have not and until next time you guys What is going on, Capricorn? Welcome or welcome back to the channel, Elevated Spirits. It's Jazzy, your favorite Cali reader. This is going to be your 1212 portal reading, well, 1212 slash new moon reading. Um, that is today on the 12th. Um, so the word of today is it's a slow process, but quitting won't speed it up. You know what? All right. I had to connect my mic because I don't want to do what I did yes the day before trying to record and throwing it all off. So anyway, um, so, <clears throat> like I was saying, the word of the day is it's a slow process, but quitting won't speed it up. So you're being really um, advised and asked to not give up right now. I know that things may be um, difficult or just, you know, kind of like in the air, um, <laughs> hearing balls against the wall. Some of you may feel like that, like just you guys are like pushed up against the wall, maybe in um, like in a rock between a hard place, like, you know, however that um, that saying goes. So, um, I have two sets of cards here going on, and the first, this first um, set is about what is this twelve twelve portal and new moon energy it activating for you? This is these are messages from your galactic family, and then what do they advise that you focus on to assist in this activation process to better help you adjust and navigate through it? Okay, so just looking at the bottoms of the decks, we have the six of wands, or start activation and evolution. So. That's definitely energy of evolving, energy of leveling up, like moving from an old phase, like, you know, um, kind of like passing a grade, I feel like. Some of you are definitely moving on to the next phase of your journey, um, onto the next chapter, so to speak. And I feel like you're, you guys are stepping into a period of overcoming challenges that you guys have been facing, okay? Um, I feel like some of you have definitely been putting work in. You've been, you know, working really hard to overcome, to navigate, to get to the next step, the next level. And it looks like it's about to pay off in a major way. This is the Ten of Pentacles, followed by the Fool. Okay, yes, followed by the Chariot and the Three of Wands. My goodness. So 
it's just important for you guys to really follow your intuition at this time to really continue to navigate in the ways that you're being guided to make sure you're taking the time to tap into your intuition especially when it comes to um you know getting grounded grounding yourself taking time for yourself with yourself by yourself making sure you're you're um, honoring what your body needs what your soul is calling you to do at this time okay um, but things that you've been asking for are definitely manifesting with this Earth Star activation. That's the chakra that's located just a few um, centimeters from your actual feet. So that's um, Isis energy, right? So that's the energy of manifestation. The goddess that um, assists us with our manifest with our manifesting things that we're trying to anchor down from the ethers and bring it down into reality. That's what you guys are a part of what you're activating at this time. But that's what's unseen. So let's tap into um, what is actually being activated through um at this time through this 12 12 portal new inner new moon energy and then we're going to wrap up at the end of the reading with some chakra wisdom cards and these are just some chakras that you might benefit from working on at this time as well okay so we have and just so you guys know i am using two totally brand new decks and that's why these readings are coming out a little bit later than i intended to just because i got the decks and then was guided to do these readings after it so it was just like oh shit okay well so i'm making it do what it do so yeah and the way i'm putting um i'm doing these readings in three parts for each four like four signs and they've been taking quite a bit of time to upload just because of the length of them so you know bear with me if you do happen to catch this after the 1212 portal or like after that date then it doesn't mean that the readings aren't still for you it doesn't mean the messages still don't apply because these energies are still lingering for days beyond that actual date why because time is fluid not linear okay just throwing that out there so we have serious star blessings yes and then we have higher higher heart activation so it seems like you're not only getting blessed by the star of Sirius, but your heart is being activated in some type of way so for those of you that have been maybe working really working hard on your forgiveness whether it's forgiveness of self forgiveness of others working on opening your heart back up to love to loving yourself or receiving love from other people that is paying off in a really major way because that is not easy um especially in you know today in today's day and age it's really not easy so we have star series um series star blessings yes proceed so any question that you might have that i've not answered or that you know i seem to not answer um the answer is yes okay proceed be seen push through so you're really being asked to continue to push forward um, and like I like the word like we were just talking about it's a slow process but quitting won't speed it up so this is your like confirmation to not give up this is your time to really shine to be seen to put yourself out there and continue to push through especially when it feels like you're not getting the results that you've been waiting for or that you've been working so hard for you have to it's it's important you don't have to do anything but it's important for you to consider at least by being in the energy of I've already had it I already have it you know thinking about the experiences of what you want to experience acting as if that's like a past thing that's already taken place you know and that will help um help you better further align to the things that you're trying to bring in at this time so we have higher heart higher heart activation dropping shields divine love your heart is healed that is fucking beautiful you guys so just show you guys the essence of these cards are so fucking pretty um so it really feels like you guys are definitely going through a through some major heart healing at this time Capricorn and I feel like you know ones that I know I know that they need it I know that they've been you know like deep down their soul is is really um yearning for that you know whether they their ego or shadow lets them admit it or not I know that a lot of you have really gone through some fucked up things and I completely understand so I love this that you know your heart that you can you know depend on what you decide to believe for yourself right um that your heart is actually healed now it's just a matter of are you willing to accept that as you know as what it is it's like you have to feel that first before you'll start seeing the results that um that confirm that for you on the in the 3d outside of yourself so i do want to um get more messages from the guidebook just because like i said it's br these are brand new decks so i have not had a chance to even read through them because i was guided to do this reading and these all these readings so i was just like well let's go i'm being obedient so I just um I've kind of put that that part of it on the back burner so the message that comes with this gateway is a giant yes it brings the energy of wishing on a star and seeing that wish coming true this is the time for you to move forward with any projects or ideas that you have felt called to carry out 
there is an energy of positivity, abundance, and excitement surrounding you at this time. Whatever dreams you have been revisiting recently aren't dreams, but premonitions. Know that whatever you're connecting with on the inside is soon to be something you'll be experiencing in the physical. So think about what you desire instead of what you fear. See yourself celebrating your wildest dreams have come true. As you do so, you'll be creating the perfect energy for them to manifest in your world. Did we not just pretty much fucking say that? <laughs> Did we not just say that? Thank you, Spirit, for confirmation. So look at that. I turn right into the page. So let's see. For a higher heart activation, you have experienced much fear, separation, and heartache in your lifetime. This has encouraged you to close off and shield yourself from possible hurt. Yes. For a long time, you've been trying to open yourself back up, but have been concerned about being being far too vulnerable this card shows you that you have shows you that you have realized that love isn't something you have to work work for or search for but your divine inheritance you have also recognized that this energy isn't something that comes through relationships or external experiences but your natural state of being the more you close off the more you close off from your true self the more you drop into the more sorry the more you drop your shields the more love is revealed the more you express the love you are, the more is reflected back to you. Love is your truth. Absolutely. So that's, you know, again, further confirmation of those of you that have really been hurt. This is, you know, a time to, you know, allow yourself to drop those, you know, um, the walls that some of you have placed quite high. It's not to say to not be mindful, to not, um, you know, keep your eyes open and feel into people's intentions and things before it happens. It's not to say to not, you know be aware of what's what's potentially could happen right but it is to say that you know when you allow yourself to truly know that you deserve it you know you can trust yourself you know that if something isn't right that you know that you can get rid of that thing or or you know push that experience away before it gets too far before you get too invested right so it's just a matter of allowing yourself to trust that you know what i do deserve love and i'm going to give myself another chance to experience that because i deserve to have that experience right so let's drop into the tarot for what's being activated. So we have heart activations and blessings. And we had just talked about that with the success here. Like I said, the things that you've been working on, this is your indication. What we we're talking about, it's a slow process, but don't give up. That is exactly what the seven of pentacles represents. It's the, is, um, you know, things that growth, you know, it takes time. Anytime you plant any type of plant, a seed, especially fruits, right? <clears throat> what is, when you think about a tree, when it is planted, like say a fruit tree, right? after you the from the very first step you take of plan of starting that tree what is the last thing that comes from that tree the fruit itself right so it's a matter of being faithful to your process to your work or whatever it is that you're putting your time energy and effort into because success is literally on the horizon here all the work that you've been putting in all the challenges you've overcome it's paying off in a major way right you go from the seven to the ten literally you skip two two pinnacles right it's like one step back where it, where it seems like that right where things are just taking too long next thing you know you're at the 10 right so it's just a matter of how you choose to see it so we have the two of cups look at that <laughs> some of you are being blessed with a brand new connection a brand new relationship for others of you if this is not maybe yet at least um a actual connection outside of yourself for some of you this is just coming bet into coherence into harmony with your own feminine divine feminine and masculine energy it doesn't matter what gender you are we both have feminine and masculine energies within us so it feels like you guys are kind of like re-establishing that connection with yourself and even if for those of you that are looking for love outside of yourself by doing this within first is what's going to again position you to have that attracted to you through another person as well so we have the ace of wands hell yeah two of cups ace of wands okay temperance so this looks like an opportunity to heal a connection for some of you the world so two major arcanas here um sagittarius energy plus of the world scorpio energy um so this is you know a closing of a cycle for some of you this is a new opportunity to have a you know a brand new start with whether it's like i said with yourself or someone else but this is an opportunity to heal literally like it's this is an opportunity to I feel like have a new start in a connection whether this is for some of you this you know the messages are general so please don't take them if they don't resonate for some of you this is obviously could be a brand new connection right a brand new start to love itself through a new person for others of you though this is a can be a healing of a past connection one that you maybe had to learn that taught you a lot you know one that you had to close certain cycles out with that's why things maybe didn't work before but through the healing right and dropping our shields and realizing what you know how love really feels and after we do the healing 
you know, there's a brand new start. This is an opportunity to have a brand new cycle. Um, one that actually works, that's actually in alignment for you at this time, okay? Like I said, that's not going to be for all of you, so, you know, please don't try to make it fit if it's not yours. Um, but this is really beautiful, you guys. This is this is really beautiful, especially for those of you that have been waiting for love. Like, when is it going to be my turn? When, when am I going to really align with someone who I don't have to worry about? I don't have to question their motives. I don't have to, you know, worry about if they're going to cheat on me or if they're really about me or if they just want me for my money or, you know, all those things. You know, this is allowing yourself to you know, realize that you've been healed, that what's been activated, this portal energy has done it for you. It's like you've done as much as you, I feel like as you've could, you know, some of you, that's what it is. Others of you, it's like, you know, kind of like your star family, your um, galactic family is doing you a favor. And they're like, you know what, we're just going to push you forward, right? It's like, you've come so close and you keep going through the same thing over again. And we just want to see you win. You know what I'm saying? So for some of you, it's like, you're kind of like some of you are being honestly made the exception where instead of them making you repeat something over and over and over again to get it just right, they're just like, you know what? We're tired of seeing you struggle. We know your heart and we just want it. It makes me want to cry right now. That's wild. I don't have Capricorn placement, so understand this is not my energy. I'm feeling some of your energy that. Wow. Give me a second, please. Um, this feels really overwhelming. <laughs> Other people's readings don't make me cry. My own readings make me cry, but this feels very personal. This feels very personal. This feels I'm connecting with one of you that or some of you, whoever, that this has been a long time coming. Some of y'all have been done really, really, really wrong. That's a lot. Okay. <clears throat> that's, that's a lot. I feel that. This is your indication that all the patience, all the healing that you guys have been doing, that you've been at least setting the intention to do, whether you feel like you've been doing it perfectly or not, um, that's paying off in a major way. It's like the cycle is finally closed. This is your indication that your heart is healed. Your heart is healed. This is a cycle closed. So this is your double confirmation right here in the same spread that it's time for your blessings. It's time for you to be seen. It's time for you to put yourself out there. It's time for you to attract and align to what you know you deserve. All the challenges that you've had to overcome. It's time for you to be seen. That's another confirmation. Be seen. Yes. Proceed. Push through. For some of you, this is about a connection that you've been questioning. For some of you, it could definitely be a new one. That's someone that you have a lot of passion for. For others of you, this is someone that you maybe disconnected from for quite some time because there were still some things that needed to be taken care of first on you know your behalf or theirs or both whatever and I feel like you guys have been maybe patiently waiting for the right opportunity waiting for the right opportunity to have a second chance to have a new cycle to have a new start to really see what the what could become of this what could really be you know and you're being presented that opportunity damn okay Jesus all right just talking about a heart activation yeah i fucking touched my heart goddamn Whew, okay um so what is your um what is your galactic family suggesting or advising that you focus on at this time to assist in this process and we have awakened awareness card 17 okay so some of you may be born on the 17th some of you may have a life path 17 you know it's not gonna apply for all of you but you know take them as they resonate so awakened awareness. So this is like seeing things from a higher perspective. They want you to really focus on trusting your intuition at this time, knowing that, you know what, I know better now. When you know better, you do better. So this is, you know, coming, allowing yourself to acknowledge the fact that, you know, you've awakened, you see things differently now. Maybe for some of you, you're a whole different person. And it feels like that with this heart, your heart is healed. That's, that's like the most powerful place I feel like in your body, that's where everything really has to come to, to cultivate, to really be made real. It has to touch your heart, right? And so I feel like some of you, this is your indication to, you know, really allow yourself to remember that you're all knowing and that you're allowing yourself to see things from a higher vantage point, not from a place that you, that you can, that you have the ability to choose how things play out in your reality. So you have the ability to decide 
Am I going to, you know, approach things or experience things from a place of fear, from a place of tra past trauma? Or am I going to approach things and experience things and situations and connections from a place of deservingness of, you know, I want to have this experience, therefore I deserve to have this experience and therefore I will have this experience because I said so. I'm the creator of my reality, therefore I decide how this shit goes, right? You get to ultimately decide that. So um, let me get a little bit more of this from the guidebook this one because I just feel like they're really powerful I like how they've been complimenting the, the other readings so I want to give you guys that opportunity too so beyond the veil clearing distortion and illusion awareness of what's running us subconsciously communing with our God force right energetic sovereignty growth outside your comfort zone the collective awakening right so this is what's giving me that growth outside your comfort zone for some of you it's really this is like a really uncomfortable energy to you know feel for some of you you've maybe been like have blocked off your heart for so long and have numbed out um the feelings of love and joy and what that even you know what that even means and this is like you know that's i feel like being kind of like reset you're getting like a reset like i feel like it's a hard reset it may feel intense for some of you um but just know that you know you are ultimately the God force within you. You are an extension of the most high, meaning that you are the creator of your own personal reality, your own, you decide how other people, you know, the roles that other people play in your life. So, you know, it's just a matter of you choosing to accept that responsibility. It's, you know, heavy as a head that wears the crown. So if you want to be, you know, treated like a king or a queen, it's like you have to step up in that way and accept that role in your own life right but from a place of healing that you know i've done my work i've gone through the bullshit i've gone through the fire and i've come out on the other side of that and now you're getting like a brand new start in love that is so fucking beautiful all right good job so we have king of cups okay king of wands all right five of swords and the death so i feel like Capricorn, you know, Scorpio energy here. Um, like I said, Sagittarius energy, Scorpio energy shown up here twice. We also have um, with the cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, the wands, the fire signs, Aries, Leo, Sag, and Gemini, Libra, Aquarius here with the five of swords. So any of those signs may or may not be significant. It really doesn't matter. You may have those in your moon signs or um, Venus. But I feel like what your what your galactic family is asking you to focus on to assist you is making sure that because you know better, you need to do better. And I'm not saying that you're not. Don't get don't misconstrue my my words here. But what I'm saying is is that because you know the type of power that you hold, the type of responsibility that comes with, that means that you also have to respond accordingly. So that means that even if you're passionate about certain things or certain people, um, make sure that you're maintaining a sense of emotional balance, emotional stability, okay? But this is also about controlling your emotions. Even if you're passionate about things, make sure that you are that you can approach things from a place that doesn't cut other people with your words, okay? Make sure that we're not, you know, manipulating other people or allowing ourselves to be manipulated for that matter, right? That we're not playing mind games in order to, you know, it's like we have to dead that, okay? For those of you that resonate with that, that have the tendency to try to, you know, because you're coming from a hurt place, so you try to make sure that you leave them before they can leave you, that's, you know, it's mind games. That's that's you expecting the worst, and that's just because of the things you've gone through. Um, but this is, you know, saying that that has to end. If you want to have a successful connection, if you want to experience what true love really can be like and how amazing that could feel and with the amazing opportunities and um, experience and memories that could be created from that, that has to end. Something has to, to completely die in order to have a new, okay? This is the, you know, the part of rebirth, death and rebirth. Both of these, you know, are similar in that sense you know the cycle's ending and this is about transform like complete radical transformation okay becoming a new letting the you know old layers of who you were who you've been what's happened letting that all die okay and really allowing yourself to step into a brand new version of yourself that is you know um more awakened that understands how things work that understands universal law 
that understands that, you know, a lot of the things you experienced were, you know, essentially what your soul signed up to experience in this lifetime. You chose all your experiences, believe it or not. A lot of people aren't ready to accept that or have that, even have that conversation about how, you know, a lot of the things like, if that, like, why would I choose experience after that was so fucked up? That's part of, you know, that's part of the journey, right? There's certain lessons that we had to learn. There's certain karmic cycles we had to close, which requires certain challenges to be, um, you know, gone through and then surpassed in order to get on the other side of that, right? So, you know, that's why you signed up for it because you knew you could fucking do it. You knew you're strong enough to handle it. You knew you're capable enough to experience those things and still come out on the other side of that healed, okay? That's why a lot of you experienced that or chose those experiences. So I feel like it's going to be real important for you guys to, you know, allow yourself to pursue your passions and, and you know, take action and but really reclaim your power from a place of emotional balance, being emotionally available, okay? If you're going to be, for those of you that, that want to truly experience love, that this is on the table for you, you know, you have to allow yourself to be available for that, right? You can't say, I want love and then be closed off. You can't, two, 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 two on the timer. You can't say like, I want, you know, I want this, but, you know, it's like those are two opposing energies. So we have to be in alignment, okay? Um, and make sure that you're not playing mind games with yourself. This is, I feel like for some of you, this is what this is talking about, whether this is mind games with other people or trying to win at all costs, you know, taking advantage of other people just to get what you want. Some, that needs to end. For others of you, this is talking about the mind games that you play with yourself, right? I don't deserve that. They're just going to hurt me. That needs to stop. That needs to completely come to an end, totally be released and transformed into a whole brand new clean slate. For some of you, it's about giving yourself a brand new clean slate, okay? And, and stop psyching yourself out with this energy of, you know, it's just going to happen again, or I've gone through that already, and it's just going to repeat, right? You don't know that, but the, but the more that that's how powerful you are, that if that's what you declare, that's exactly what you're going to see. And that's why you're being told here to focus on the transformation that you're experiencing right now. Some of you are really going through a major transformative cycle, a major um, like evolution of your journey. And so this is about embracing that. Okay, allowing the things that are trying to fall away, the aspects of yourself or the connections, whatever that might be, allow that shit to fall away to let in the new. Okay, because you guys are ready for it. It's time. It's your fucking time. You're being told, yes, be seen, push through, keep going because you're so fucking close. And that's all here. All the work you've been doing, it's ready to pay off for you. You guys are ready to receive the rewards. It's like the universe is ready to reward you, but it's like you have to keep going. Okay, you just have to keep going know that just because you're not think like it's like when you plant a seed right and you're waiting for that process that germination process for that little sprout just to let you know okay i'm doing something right we can keep going here that's all you're waiting for so that's just that process that you're in right now but just know that it's like for example you're, you're waiting for the germination process it's already been like maybe 60 days and you're like okay like is there anything growing under there this is your indication to just keep going give it a few more days give it a little bit more time because what's going to happen is when that does when that's that little sprout does come through the dirt you're going to have a whole like fucking leaf type thing where it's not just going to be a little bitty bloop, you know what i'm saying it's going to be like a whole leaf we're going to be like oh shit okay you know what i mean so that's what this is where what this is giving me here with like it jumping from the seven to the ten this is like you're skipping two steps here. You're skipping the eight and the nine, going straight from the seven to the 10. So that's letting you know that things are about to, you're about to have a major, major, major breakthrough, but you have to be willing to take the risk. You have to be willing to trust the universe at this time and trust what you know, okay? Reclaim that God force energy within you and get in alignment. Some of you have cancer in your chart, right? So this is about getting your head and heart on the same page, right? Typically in most um, traditional tarot decks, this is depicted without reins. He doesn't need to hold, you know, he doesn't need to, um, you know, stronghold his, um, his uh, light and his shadow because they're on the same page. So he doesn't need to control them because they're in coherence with each other. They're in harmony with each other. They're on the same page. They understand the, the mission. They know what they're, you know, what the intention is. They know where they're heading. You know, everybody's in alignment, right? So this is about being in divine alignment and knowing what direction you're going and continuing to push forward in that way because your ships are coming in, okay? So you just need to continue to trust your intuition, okay? Continue to follow your intuitive guidance. Let it speak to you. Let it talk to you. Even if it's something you don't want to hear, it doesn't mean it's lying to you, okay? And making sure that you're doing everything that you're doing from a place of balance, doing things with fairness, okay? Karma is always, you know, this. it's not about good or bad. It's about cause and effect. What you put out is what comes back to you. So this is about decisions that you make and the moves that you make and the things that you pursue, doing it from a place of, 
you know, fairness and what's what's right for all involved. OK, so that got deep. That was deep. All right. So let's wrap with um, the chakras that you guys might benefit from working on at this time. So we have goddamn. I'm done. <laughs> I'm fucking done. Oh, I'm done. I'm fucking done. So let me just show y'all. That's wild. So let me just show you real fast. So this purpleness going on here, um, which doesn't, this isn't about the chakras at all, but just, you know, the, the first of all, the imagery in the cards here, the purpleness going on. Um, this is a third eye chakra, by the way. So third eye chakra with the awakened awareness, okay, which also speaks about your third eye. We also already saw the um, high priestess there, which is also about the third eye, following your intuition. So we have um, intuitive perception, okay? And then we also have the heart chakra, all right? So I haven't looked at any of these cards. Y'all, I purposely and intentionally recorded pre-shuffling them just so you can see, like, I'm not picking them out just to fucking put a reading together. I don't need to do that shit. <laughs> I'm too powerful for that. So both of these are talking about the heart chakra. So this is divine confirmation to, yes, just continue to work on your third eye, learning how to trust yourself. I've learned even through my own experiences and the Capricorns that I have experienced is that when they didn't trust me, it was because there was a past, a past experience where they didn't trust themselves and they got hurt. And then so they went through life not healing those aspects, not forgiving themselves for the times where they didn't trust their intuition and projected that onto someone else. So this is your opportunity to, you know, trust yourself again. Okay. Your heart is healed. So this is all, all is forgiven. You've been forgiven. Your, your, all your um, enemies have been forgiven, not because of them, not for them, but for your freedom. Right. So I'm going to read the um, mantra so you guys can decide if you want to use them for yourself. You can feel free to play this back, slow it down if you need to, and you can repeat it after me if you'd like. So third eye chakra, intuitive perception. I know that what my intuitive senses are telling me are true. I open myself to the truth that is within and around me, and I know that there and I know that it is there for me to receive. I practice developing my intuition, and I know that it is a major aspect of who I am. In the stillness and silence of meditation and contemplation, I will experience and know the truth. So that's the third eye. And then so the one for the heart chakra is radiate warmth and sincerity. I'm open to sharing, accepting, communicating, and connecting with others as I focus on this moment, not the past or the future. A smile, a, a kind-hearted way of speaking, or a hug goes a long way towards uplifting others. I offer care and support where I can without rescuing. I nurture and respect my relationships. So yeah, you don't need to save other people. You don't need to rescue nobody. You don't need to rescue yourself. You're already, you just have to decide. I'm already, I'm already healed. I'm already in alignment. I'm already in the position to receive, give and receive and balance in, you know, in ways that's for my highest and greatest good. So it's just a decision. It's your choice. But allow yourself to see it from that perspective, that higher level of perspective, that higher level of perception. So it's like, I feel like you guys have awakened to that, you know, that everything is, is happening for a bigger and higher reason. And so when you look at it, when you allow yourself to accept that, you don't have to take your challenges so personal. You don't have to take when people do things wrong or do things that would essentially hurt you. You don't have to take it personal because it's really not about you in that sense. It's not saying that you don't matter. That's not what I mean. But it's saying that their hurt isn't personal. They're not doing it intentionally to hurt you. It's really because they're hurting and they're projecting it outwards. For others of you, things that have happened to you is just showing you where you need its healing still, right? So it's just a matter of how you choose to see it, all right? So Capricorns, I really truly hope that that... Um, the message touched those that needed it. Um, that was, I wasn't expecting for that to pull on my fucking heartstrings, but it did. So it is what it is. Um, but yeah, if you did enjoy this reading, if it resonated at all, I would love to hear about it. Feel free to like the video, um, subscribe if you have not. And until next time, you guys. What is going on Aries? Welcome or welcome back to the channel Elevated Spirits. It's Jazzy, your favorite Cali reader. This is going to be your 1212 portal slash new moon galactic message reading. Okay, so these messages are coming from your galactic family. Um, doesn't matter what star system you resonate with. Um, I do have two brand new decks that 
I got for the channel. So I hope you guys really enjoy this reading. Um, these are coming out a bit later than I expected just because I was guided to do the reading after obviously a day or two I think after I got the cards so I'm just being obedient and showing up and also reminding you that time is fluid meaning that when the messages come to you or is when they're meant for you because even if you got them on um, the 12th or whenever you're seeing this video doesn't mean that they'll resonate then it may not even make sense yet so it just depends on where you are on your journey so um, and they are general in nature, so meaning they're not going to resonate with all of you. That's what the personal private readings are for. So <clears throat> just something to keep in mind as well. Um, so I will be getting just a little bit of more information from the guidebooks of these for one, because it's a new deck, but more importantly, because I've been enjoying how the, the messages in the guidebook further complement the reading as a whole. So I want to do that for you guys as well. Um, so yeah, the word of today is it's a slow process, but quitting will speed it up. So this is not the time to give up. This is not the time to quit. Even if it feels like things are going slow, this is, uh, it feels like uh, just looking at the bottoms of the decks that I am using. It looks like you guys are definitely heavily focused on your finances right now. Um, I feel like some of you are really doing your best to align with your purpose. Um, some of you may be doing Akashic record work or you might be guided to do that. You might be guided to get an Akashic reading um, or just even go into the records yourself to get further clarity about what your purpose is. But also know that whatever you've been at a crossroads about, um, for some of you it's about your path or what um, what your, your purpose is or what type of service you're providing, what you're doing for others. Um, there's no wrong way, okay? I feel like some of you needed that confirmation that this is just a matter of stepping through. We have stepping through here at the bottom. It's just about stepping through this portal, stepping through this new time, this new timeline I'm hearing for some of you. It's a new timeline that some of you are stepping into and it's just a matter of you starting there. There's no way you can go wrong with this. And that's a beautiful place to be, is to know that you can't make a mistake. No matter which way you choose, it'll work either way. So I feel like some of you needed that confirmation. For some of you, that might be a bit more comforting, especially for those of you that have been like maybe wrecking your brain about which way to go, what should I do, how should I, what should I invest in, you know, especially as it pertains to your um, your finances, your stability, um, where to put your resources. Um, this is your, you know, when it comes to your um, purpose, when your path and what you're, whatever you're doing as in to be in service to the collective, you can't go wrong with that. When you're in purpose in alignment with your purpose, you can't go wrong. So I feel like some of you have like, you know, a couple ideas that you're playing with and you're kind of like in between like, oh, I don't know if I should do this or this. This is your confirmation that either way, either one you choose, it's going to work because they're both in alignment with your purpose. So whatever you've been at a crossroads about, this is your confirmation or for some of you, um, you know, an indication that you don't need to feel at a crossroads because either way is going to take you where you want to go. There is no wrong path here either. It looks like even if you, let's say, for example, when you're like, let's say going, uh, driving to the beach, right? And it's a beach you've never been to before. So, you know, you're on the freeway and next thing you know, you, you know, get off on the wrong exit and you're like, oh shit, like I thought I was supposed to get off on this one and you got off on the other one. It's fine because you know, your, your, um, GPS is going to redirect you back on to the highway, right? To get off on the proper exit. So it's like, it doesn't matter, you know, even if it feels like a delay or, you know, a detour, anything like that, it's still going to take you where you have to go. So you don't have to worry. All right. So, um, let's get into the first messages. What is being at? What is this 12 12 portal energy activating for you guys at this time? So I haven't seen either one of these cards yet. So for some of you, it's a Pleiadian activation. Some of you are from, um, are part of the Pleiadian, um, star family. And that could be, that energy is being reactivated in you in this lifetime. Um, some of you may already know that. So this could be serving as confirmation. Others of you had no idea. So you might want to do more research on that as it pertains, as that resonates with you. So Pleiadian activation coming together, harmony in the heavens, resolution. Okay. So anything that you've been kind of like, like I said, kind of like um, feeling challenged about or with, this is like bringing it, this activation at this time is bringing those things into harmony where it's going to make sense. Um, I feel like you're going to be, you're going to feel more in tuned, more in alignment with what to do, where you're being guided to go. And it's not, it, whatever you've been questioning, it's no longer going to be a question. Okay. 444 four, four on the timer. So then we have Halls of Aminti, Initiation. Secrets revealed, treasures uncovered, initiation. So yeah, some of y'all are definitely going through an initiation this time, at this time, especially if it's things that you've been kind of like feeling at a crossroads about, kind of like at odds about, like unsure, that's your initiation. Are you going to trust yourself? Are you going to trust, you know, what you're being um, divinely guided to do? Are you going to, you know, step into the new, right? Step into this new journey, step through this portal, step into this new timeline. 
um, especially if it feels in alignment, even if it's uncomfortable, doesn't mean to not do it, right? Um, discomfort is typically where you grow the most. If it's uncomfortable, you're gonna, you're definitely find growth there. So some of you, this is your indication that you're going through an initiation right now. So um, with the challenges you've been facing, if you've, especially those that have been really being hard on yourself, please don't, because you're going through an initiation. So I feel like some of you, it's been, it's important for you to know that, so you don't feel like I'm doing something wrong, or that I'm going down the wrong path, right? This is your challenges that you're that you're experiencing right now. It's all for purpose. So I feel like some of you needed to know that. So let's halls of the minty initiation. I'm gonna do that. Read that one first, just because I was closer to it. But you are in a deep initi initiatory chamber at this time. You might feel that things are heavy and challenging, but know that a configuration is happening energetically. Ooh, and the at the bottom of the page, the page is 77. So some of you may be a life past seven, um, seeing 77. But know that you are but know that a configuration is happening energetically you are going through an initiation that will allow you to go beyond the fears of the ego and transcend the limitations of the physical realm you may not feel that light that light is present because you are in the middle of this phase at the moment but know that it is that it is present within you you might be feeling frustrated or overwhelmed but a lot of this anxiety is actually old energies that were stored in the depths of your body being released so that your vibration can rise okay so yeah it's like the things that you guys like i was saying are feeling right now you may be feeling like i'm going down the wrong path i'm doing the wrong thing like you're doing something wrong you're actually not i feel like it's just for honestly it feels like for some of you it's just simply old timelines playing out let me give you an analogy about that too because i i got channeled this one um i want to say a couple months ago and it was just so divine that how as it relates to the timelines right Sometimes when we're asking for new things and we're thinking that, you know, oh, I'm like, I'm been gunning for this new life and to do things differently and da da da, you ha it's kind of like going to a movie, right? You pay for the movie and maybe about halfway, like, say the movie's two hours long, right? About halfway through the movie, you're like, oh, this fucking movie's boring. I was a waste of money. You know, I should just leave early. You know, this is your, this is like that, where it's like, you know what? Instead of me leaving early, I already paid my money. I'm gonna just sit here. I'm gonna just let the movie play out and then I'm gonna leave. And that way, you know, just in case, however, it may have strangely get better or whatever, then I won't miss it. And then I, money won't be wasted. Right. So for some of you, it's kind of like that similar thing of where, you know, this is just that movie playing itself out. Right. Where you can't where in this sense, though, you can't stop it. Right. When it comes to our energy and our timelines and things like that, you can't stop them from playing out. If they're going to play out, they're going to play out. And so some of you, the challenges that some of you are going through right now where you're being really hard on yourself and it's feeling overwhelming and heavy and you know really burdensome just know that it's just old timelines playing out you know you can't leave in the middle of it like you would a movie this one you have to kind of just let it play let it play itself out let it do its thing and just know that on the other side of that is all the things you've been asking for right so the second one pleiadian activation let's skip that real fast Pleiadian energy is about coming together in peace and harmony. You are blessed to receive this gateway, for it is a powerful message of assurance that whatever uncomfortable energy you're experiencing right now will soon be washed away. Hell yeah. The Pleiadians are beings who live in the who live in complete honor of their planets and their people. They acknowledge that in seeing and connecting with one another that they have an opportunity to see and experience the divine. They also know, <clears throat> excuse me, they also know the consequences of disrespecting others. It's for this reason that this is no longer possible for them. If you are being challenged by loved ones, by loved ones now, aim to shift the dynamics of this relationship through a loving approach. The lesson you are facing at this time is an opportunity to heal old wounds and operate from a higher state of being. Okay, so there's that. Let me get some water before I fucking kill my throat here. for Aries so first card out fuck yes the magician okay this is again stepping into your power taking your power back yes reclaiming your power remembering how powerful you fucking are six of wands beautiful two of pentacles and the four of wands Aries Aries <laughs> Aries <laughs> let me just say we have a six here okay and four of the two is another six so six six 
<sighs> Virgo Gemini energy here. You guys are manifesting. Whatever it is you've been asking for, you're overcoming. It's happening. I feel like, like I, like it was saying with the um, wrong path, the crossroads. Some of you are at a crossroads. This is about making a decision. Just this is knowing. This is confirmation here that you're manifesting success in your life, Aries. Some of you just needed to know that. You needed to see it, like in the 3D. Like I need proof, Spirit. Show me, please. Show me I'm on the right path. Please give me a sign. This is your sign. For some of you, this is heavy comfort fucking mation. <laughs> okay, that you're manifesting success. Whatever you've been asking for, you have everything you need to overcome to get to the other side of it okay like they had, it was just both those cards were saying pretty much almost the same thing about the uncomfortable things that you've been going through this is saying that you have everything you need to overcome to get to the success to get over beyond the challenges because the, the five of wands is the challenge right but you're at the six already so this is saying like you have everything you need to do this you just need to believe in yourself okay and know that whatever choice you make is going to bring success it's going to bring stability it's going to bring a sense of support like knowing that you're supported whatever direction you choose to go this is divine confirmation and at its fucking finest like i don't feel like any of the other readings like out of all the other literally 11 readings that none of them have hit in confirmation this hard like this like in this way this message is so fucking clear that's what's activating in you is the reminder letting you know that for some of you that have been really fucking down on yourself and figuring out like which way do I go what do I do just know that all that shit is all that confusion and and feeling like the heaviness of like not being able to choose feeling like well what if I but if I do this what if this happens and what if I do that then this happens this is saying that you decide how this shit plays out 12 12 on the timer okay 12 fucking 12 right this is saying you decide because you are the alchemist that means that even if something happens that goes awry and you don't like it you always still have the ability to change that shit it's just a matter of how you choose to see it this is reclaiming your power knowing that i have everything i need even if it doesn't feel like it i have everything i need and if i don't have it i can create it right you're creating success in your life you literally have everything you need to overcome any challenge you're facing to ultimately get the rewards you've been waiting for right so whatever choice you need to make whatever choice you've been trying to choose just know it's going to lead to success whatever choice you decide whatever decision you make especially as it pertains to finances what i was telling you guys because look at the bottom of the deck the first three cards they're all freaking pentacles the queen of pentacles the six of pentacles and the knight of pentacles okay so this is just saying be resourceful you know be mindful of what you're investing in what you're giving your time energy and effort to and make sure you're taking your time come up with a plan okay be practical be smart about it and take your time don't feel like you need to rush into making any decisions but at the end of the day this is also knowing that whatever decision you do make you're supported okay your guides support you the pleiadians support you that's what's activating in you so of course they support you right you're supported and this is foundation for some of you this is like trying to figure out do i want to move do i want to move for work some of you that could be what this is or like i want to move i want to go to this country or this country to you know to work and maybe be a digital nomad or something like that but you don't you don't you're not sure which one is the better choice this is saying whatever you choose it'll be successful you're supported in whichever one you decide to go with okay and this is just again about believing in yourself though to know that you know what I'm at a crossroads and I don't really know which one, but I'm going to just make a choice and trust that whatever decision I make is what's going to work for me. That's what you're being asked to do here. Okay. So let's get into what are you being asked to focus on? What is your star family asking you to focus on? I mean, your galactic family to focus on at this time um, to assist you in this process. We have crystal keys, 22. So can we just acknowledge the beauty of these cards real fast? <laughs> They're so pretty um 22 some of you may be a life path 22 which is a master number you may be seeing 22 222 we have three twos here so that may be um a confirmation again another confirmation for some of you but this speaks of um i just get the keywords out of the book for you to be honest but you know this is also let me just before i even go there this is understanding that your challenges are ultimately serving you okay it's just a matter of like the way that she's you see how these crystals here they could those you know in some decks serve as like your challenges as like limiting thoughts that are like trying to hurt you things that are trying to hurt you thoughts whatever that might be for you how she's above that this is like seeing beyond that you know not letting this overtake your your um your own intuition not let it not letting this override your better judgment you know and, and the decisions you make okay so let's look at 22 
too. It's like letting your um, letting your challenges serve you at this time. Seeing the blessing in the difficulty, in the complexity of your of your experiences right now. Because it really, if you look at it from the right way, you'll see, you know, through your challenge, you'll see a solution. Not only maybe a solution, but a way that you can um, essentially like monetize off of whatever solution you create by solving your own problems you can then monetize that by creating something to help other people solve theirs you see what i'm saying so um <clears throat> crystal keys so this represents hidden wisdom codes potent information lumerian uh seed crystals seeing your triggers as a gift awareness of creating drama of drama creating patterns healing the earth by looking at your inner environment, healing through awareness, okay? So it's like, you know, there's, this is like, you'll benefit by allowing yourself to see, you know, the, the lesson in your chaos, the things that it's trying to teach you versus how it's trying to hurt you. You see what I'm saying? And that'll help you tremendously navigate this energy. So Queen of Swords, exactly. This is about seeing things for what it is, being true, being honest, taking your emotions out of it and getting clear about what it is that's going on and allowing yourself to cut those things away using your sort of truth to see something or a situation or a person for who what it is and cutting away any illusions that might try to cloud your judgment okay nine of swords yes it's about cutting like i said seeing something for what it is and seeing how maybe something that's been causing a lot of stress or anxiety it needs to go for some of you it needs to go but this is also about seeing how you know <clears throat> allowing yourself to see your challenges clearly whatever's been stressing you out how it really can benefit you how that that stress can really be trying to channel be kind of like can act as a, a catalyst to channel a new idea that you that you can take action on okay like it was talking about seeing the gift right seeing your triggers as a gift so some of you that is what this is about when you remove your emotion you can then see oh this trigger is really trying to help me in this way or it's kind of trying to help me to help others in this way right so let me have the three of swords and the nine of pentacles so it's like for some of you it's like you're this is some of you have something that you're needing to heal from that has been very painful it could be a heartbreak you could definitely represent like a breakup some sense of rejection that some of you are really stressed out over but some of you are not seeing how you know what i really wasn't happy there anyway i'd rather be single i'm happier single that just gives me a time and opportunity to really focus on myself maybe some of you this is like representing a breakup where it's like you know what that just means though that now i'm free to fucking date anyone i want you see what i'm saying how you're able to how if you choose if you allow right you can easily see the benefit in something that was essentially very painful the benefit of something that maybe was essentially designed to hurt you how you can see how actually this is helping me restore my independence. This is actually helping me pick up, you know, maybe some goals or passions or things that I wanted to do and pursue how I put them on the back burner for someone else. This is helping you see how, you know what? I don't have to let that shit, uh, I don't, it's like now I, I'm free to do what I want to do. Now I'm free to put my energy fully back into myself. I'm now free to put my energy now back into some goal or dream that I had that I may have put off because of someone else told me it wasn't good enough. But now that I'm not with them anymore, even though I've been maybe kind of like stressed out about it, I don't need to be because now that means that I can now fully depend on myself. So where they weren't showing up for me, I know I could do that for myself. And in doing so, you then attract and align with someone who's able to hold that same place for you. It's actually a really beautiful place to be. Like it took me a while to see it from that perspective and get to that point. But once you do, it's just it's just so much fucking better because the thing is, as much as we like to believe that we can control people even with magic and, and spell work and all that shit it's like it always fucking backfires that it goes against universal law to try to take people's free will from them so you know trying to make people stay with you and try to convince them and all that it's like people are going to make their decisions anyway so you might as well focus all that energy back onto yourself we have two nines here 99 here so it's like you know you might as well focus that energy back on you and work on yourself to where You'll not only never experience those type of things again because you've learned what they were trying to teach you, but then you won't align to that energy because you're in a whole different fucking frequency. You see what I'm saying? When you close certain cycles and let certain experiences teach you what they taught you, you won't have to go through them again. That's typically what it's for. The same thing as school, right? It's a matter of how you, again, choose to see it. How like when you go through certain, all the grades, right? And you graduate high school, 
you don't have to go through high school again, right? Because you've already you already did all the requirements to get you there, right? So it's the same thing. So once you learn all the lessons, you don't have to, to backtrack to, to relive that again unless you choose to, right? Unless you want to go through that cycle again, that's your choice, right? That's where, again, free will comes in. But, you know, I feel like this is just an opportunity for you guys to really see something or a person for what it is. And no longer let it stress you out because you understand why it happened. You understand what it was trying to teach you. And then for some of you, it was just teaching you how to take back your power, how to reclaim your independence, how to reclaim your own sovereignty. And I feel like you guys are doing that now. Okay. And that's, like I said, a really beautiful place to be. But again, when it comes to whatever year it is that you're, that some of you guys are indecisive about or kind of deciding, trying to make a choice on, just know that it's going to be successful regardless, especially as it pertains to your finances. If we're talking about money or a career, job opportunity, whatever that is for you, that you can kind of like, eh, I don't know, just know whatever you choose, you are supported. Okay. Even if it doesn't feel like that at the beginning, you are supported. You, we've confirmed that a few times already. So, and the chakra, they want you to help come through spirit, come through. <laughs> oh, Aries, your, your galactic team is speaking loud and fucking clear. I'll tell you that all this yellow going on here, solar plexus chakra, self-worth and self-esteem. Okay. So this is a really about being in your confidence, being confident in what you're being guided to do, being confident in the decisions that you're being guided to make, knowing, trusting. It's not even a knowing, but if you can't get to the, the that next level of knowing, it's trusting. I trust myself enough to try. I trust myself enough to, even if I fall, right, that I can dust myself, I can get back up and dust myself off and, you know, keep going, right? So you can feel free to repeat this after me or rewind it and let it play back however you want to do it self-worth and self-esteem i honor myself by doing the things that please me not only those that please others i am empowered as i release the need to live up to other people's unrealistic expectations of me when i respect and approve of myself others will naturally do the same i teach others how to treat and respect me by how i te treat and respect myself i know i'm worthy of love and respect the boundaries i create with others acknowledging acknowledge my self-worth okay we just talked about that. I literally was just talking about that and I hadn't even looked at this card yet. So that's just, again, again, divine confirmation, okay? That, you know, what we we're talking about with the whole, um, you know, doing things for yourself, right? How you'll naturally align to people who will be able to hold that same space for you. So if you start learning how to pamper yourself, taking yourself out on dates, things like that, you'll naturally align with people who, well, I want to take you out. Like, I don't, well, why do you have to do that for you? I want to do it. Well, you don't have to cook yourself dinner. I want to cook you dinner. You know what I'm saying? But you have to allow yourself to step into that place first, okay? Again, we were talking about stepping through, right? Stepping through journey to wholeness. Exactly. God, that's so beautiful. So pretty. I got to figure out a way to cover the boobies because I'm not going to withdraw on these cards. Fuck no. You two can kiss my whole entire behind. But anyway, stepping through. This one's covered, so... Let me just get the keywords for stepping through because I haven't even seen that card yet. But yep, hell yeah. Follow your heart, dream big, stepping through something that has been holding you back, the threshold, starting new projects, self-belief, it is all possible, the road less travel, trust, okay? See, I can't even make this shit up. I apologize for those of you that are, have headphones on. I just, it's like, ugh, it just, it's, you know, I get passionate about this shit. So, God. Some of you need it, you know, like I said, it's confirmation that you need it. You know, you just need to trust yourself. Trust whatever direction you're being guided to do, even if this has to just simply do with leaving a connection behind to focus more on your own stability and your own finances and providing for yourself and caring for yourself and all those things. Some of us, you know, we've been in connections where we lose ourselves to a connection. And this is where you're being asked to reclaim your sovereignty and let you see how the triggers are really trying to help you. Okay. So Aries, that's what I have for you. I really, really hope you guys enjoyed this reading. This was by far the, I feel like, most powerful reading out of all of them, to be honest with you. So um, I really hope you, you know, those that chose to, to tune in, I hope you truly gained from it what you needed and maybe some you didn't know you needed. If you did enjoy it, however, if it did resonate, I'd really appreciate if you smash that like button. Consider subscribing if you have not. And